A group of 10-year-old robot builders and operators are now ready to take on the world in Boston. Fox 26 reporter Rich Rodriguez introduces us to the Lego champs from Woodlake. These Lego champs from Woodlake rolled over the competition at the regional and state level. These fifth graders call themselves the Wildcat Coders. This is the first extension we had for the EV3, and then we upgraded into um, this robot and we used for the first competition. The Wildcat Coders formed the team last September. They meet after school three times a week. You gotta find um, this team that has this great value of cores that they could work with each other and do everything they need to do for the program. So. The mission for these 10 year olds is to fine tune the robots so there are no wasted moves. Points are scored when they collect an object. They have only two and a half minutes. There have been moments of panic and competition. Uh, it just kept spinning in circles, and every time we would try redoing it, it would just keep spinning and spinning and spinning. Along the way, the team discovered it has the stuff to compete. So the teams that we were going against, they were, uh, they were more advanced than our first competition, so it was like a big jump. All six team members have to present an innovative project to a panel of judges. Their discussion involved rewinding energy. And that was their idea to rewind energy back into a fridge uh, using the fan on the back, uh, almost as a mini windmill, if you would. At the first Lego League U.S. Open Championship, the team will compete against older students and teams from around the world. I'd be very happy leaving with any kind of uh, metal recommendation, anything, especially being again our first year. The Woodlake School District is showing its support by paying all expenses for team members and coaches to travel to Boston. Rich Rodriguez, Fox 26 News. Go Wildcats go. Now the Woodlake, the Woodlake Wild Encoders will be competing for three days in Boston beginning on June 9th. There's also fundraisers underway to help pay for their parents to join them. We've got that information up on our website at KMPH.com.